What's going on, guys? This is Eric, and I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. So I'm going to teach you how to do, how to make um, a easy way to make money using a copy and paste method. Using a free, a free copy and paste method using Fiverr. So we're going to use Fiverr.com. Um, and if you go onto Fiverr.com and you go scroll to the bottom, we're going to click on Affiliates. And now we're right here on um, Affiliates. Now once you click on Affiliate, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the offers. There's a Fiverr, um, there's more of a basic, there's Fiverr Pro. And there's logo maker if you want to make logos, right? So you've got to pick which one you want. So um, this one right here is a little bit lower of an offer. It's 25% uh, off the first order, you know, 10% off future orders. And this right here is Pro Service 70%, and this is logo maker 30%. So let's go right here. We're, I'm going to go ahead. I think the best thing to do would be Pro Service. So we're going to click Pro Service, we're going to click Promote Fiverr Pro. And, you know, we can read, you can read through all this stuff if you would like, but what I'm going to do is, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and go on down to Join Fiverr Affiliate. All right, so once you click the uh, affiliate sign up, you're going to put in your first last name, your email address, a username. Um, where it says account type, you can just click private if you would like. And you have main source of traffic, you can push no if you don't have any traffic. And if you have a Skype, you can put a Skype. All right, so once you um, sign up, you will be a Fiverr affiliate. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click on start doing. Once you re-sign back in to the Fiverr, you have to re-sign back in. You have to accept some agreements. And once you are in, you'll come into this right here, this uh, Fiverr affiliate dashboard. And we're going to click on marketing tools right here and default and deep links. And these right here are some of your links that you have, you know, your Fiverr Pro, your Fiverr Sub Affiliate, um, and everything like that. So there is different things, but um, the Fiverr Pro, the new plan, um, if you were to promote Fiverr Pro, right, and uh, you get 70% off for the initial, for the initial purchase. So when somebody, when you promote this link right here of pro, you know, of, um, of this Fiverr Pro, then you get 70% because they use your link. Um, when someone clicks your link and they purchase Fiverr Pro plan, you will get 70% of that commission. But what we want to do also is we want to click on Deep Link. And we want to put in a specific landing page to go to a specific gig. Now what we're going to do is we are actually going to go on to Fiverr.com um, at the at beginning. And we are going to um, advertise to people who have brick and mortar businesses. The reason why we're going to promote to brick and mortar businesses is because a lot of times these businesses, they're needing advertisement, they're needing logos done, they're needing all these other things. And a lot of times businesses that are usually brick and mortar are usually, they may not be online and, you know, and they, and they're more than like, a lot of times they're more than likely to pay money to have things done for them. 
Now you can type in different things, um, you know, like for example, you know, social media marketing, and just different things. But if you want to follow me, let's go to Google Ads. Now, why is the reason why I chose Google Ads? Well, because a lot of brick and mortar businesses are, you know, they're, they have may have a website online. But they don't want to, and they want to have traffic. And a lot of times they don't want to do things themselves. They, you know, they would rather pay someone to, to set up and to manage you know, their profiles and their advertisement and everything. I'll just pay, you know, somebody else uh, to do it. So that's the reason why we're choosing this. Now, the one thing that you want to do is you want to sort by best selling. Okay. And it will come up to right here. And we see here, here's, you know, 341, 332, there's 95 dollars 89 450 495 okay and you want to find because you're going to get 70 percent off the first gig so you want to try to do the best one that you can find so the best one that that i that i see is this right here i will set up and manage your google ads edwards and ppc campaigns um here's i will set up your google ads edwards PBC display in PB Max, right? So let's see. Let's maybe go to here's top rated right here. Let's just do this top rated here for one. It says from 125, right? Let's just do this one. Now, once you are here. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the top and we're going to click on the URL and we're going to copy it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that landing page. So we're going to go back to the um, dashboard under, under marketing tools, default and deep links. We're going to click on that landing page and we're going to click save. Now we can now the, all these links right here change to his pro to that um, gig makers right profile, and so you can do new plan or you can do Fiverr Pro new like here's a marketplace you do whatever one you want. Um, me, I'm going to do Fiverr Pro new plan right here. Um, we're going to copy this right here. And the reason why is because we want, you know, when a person clicks on the link and they uh, buy this gig, we're going to get 70% um, off of that or 70% commission. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up incognito. So we've copied the link and the reason why we're going to incognito is so there's no cookies and we're going to click enter. And you can see right here, it goes straight to, it goes straight to this person's um, Fiverr gig account, where we will make commission when people click our link. Now, the next thing you want to do is you actually want to open up a, a new Gmail account. It's easy to do. Just create a new Gmail account and make the Gmail account um, similar to kind of what you're doing. Um, you can make anything you want to, but, you know, I'll come up with a good name um, of a good Gmail account, okay, that you want to do. So I have a, I had, I've created a new Gmail account 
And now what we're going to do is I went to Google Drive, and these are Google prompts to use. So what we're going to do is we want to get email addresses. So this right here is plumbers, uh, gmail.com, yahoo.com. Um, you can either do plumbers in your city, you know, um, Cleburne, Texas, just whatever, right? And so what we want to do is we want to... So we want to use one of these. So let's go to plumbers at gmail.com. We're going to copy it. And we're going to put this in right here and click enter. Now what we have here is we have all of these different um, things right here. And we can see that we have all of these, all these email addresses that come up. So let's go to here to Texas Plumbers. Let's copy this. Let's go on down. Here's speedwayplumbers at gmail.com. Copy this. Now we want to just go through the line and you want to copy at least the minimum of 10 uh, links to make this really beneficial. All right, for the sake of the video, um, I have these right here um, that we are going to to email each one of these people right here. Um, but what we also are going to do is I also have a sample email that will be in the description of this video. And here it is right here that we can copy and paste and to email all of these people. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Compose. Now, we can we can do things on the two, but it's better if we do Blind Carbon Copy, BCC. Okay, and now we're going to go and we're going to get each one of these. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's see here, Google Prompts. So we're going to do each one of these right here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something out. We're going to click all of them at one time. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a comma. So I was going to do each one individually, but I think if we put a comma after every one of them, it will separate them automatically. Let's see if that works. Let's go to the inbox. Yes, it did. Okay. So now we're going to put in the subject line. Right here, the subject line that we are going to put in um, is right here. Subject, boost your plumbing business with target ad campaigns. Remember, um, if, you, if you're doing targeting electric companies, uh, it doesn't have to be plumbing, it be electric companies, just whatever you're targeting, uh, remember to change the words right there. So let's go here. And we're doing plumbing, so there's, there's that right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the thing, and we're going to click on right here. We're going to copy all of this all the way down. Now what we want to do is we want to copy this right here. Um, check out this highly uh, rated gig here. We want to copy this, and we want to go to this little paper clip right here, insert link, and this right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click, we're going to go to the website, and we're going to put it right there. So we're clicking this right there, and right here we're going to click paste, and click OK. Once we have all this stuff, everything done, read over it make sure everything looks good um, best regards google ad specialist and then we're done and then we click send all right so we messed up a little bit so let's click do it again click send and the message sent now we're done thank you for watching the video and now i want to show you another great way 
to make money coming up next.